Hello, my name is Tom Ashgancy. One of my key areas of focus is to help building services companies to find the right leaders. And in this short video, I would like to share with you some of the insights about the changes that we see happening in the building services sector and how these changes affect management challenges. In the past, most technology used in buildings were analog standalone systems. What we see developing though is that very often it is not enough to just sell a product but companies need to provide solutions to existing problems. Where hardware has to work seamlessly with software and digitalization creates new opportunities to provide more effective services. In order to answer this challenge, companies might create new divisions to develop the missing piece of the solution, might buy a smaller innovative company or partner up with third parties. In all of these cases, however, the result is that product portfolios are becoming more complex, opening up new opportunities, but at the same time, new challenges as well. The lockdown caused by the COVID pandemic only accelerated the transformation toward a more digitalized and connected world. So what does this mean to building services companies and their leadership? Based on our discussions with our partners, several thoughts came to light very often repeatedly. The trend of focusing on solution sales is nothing new. However, the transition is still ongoing, and while in theory most agree in it, it is hard to find the right formula how to implement it effectively. The building services sector is a conservative one, where the core business is still generating most of the revenue. Very often companies are organized by product lines, where most of the focus falls on the core product. How are you going to make sure that the innovative products are not neglected? How are you going to break up the product silos to make your team cooperate? Through your motivational systems? Through completely changing the structure? Implementing solution sales can be frustrating to an organization if not done right. However, if you want to benefit from the opportunities provided by digitalization and technology advances, don't let your legacy business hold you hostage. Be courageous, be open to the new technologies, have an open mind. Break the silos down. Make sure your teams communicate across departments. Bring them together. The world has become faster and more complex. How can you still remain an expert while a change happens so fast around you? Knowledge management is becoming more important than ever. Most clients research their suppliers before engaging with them. Provide adequate information in the digital space. The solution to the problem is the most important. The technology behind it is secondary. Sales need to focus on adding business value. So what does this mean when it comes to leadership? Again, our discussions with industry leaders showed several recurring themes. Major leadership challenges include driving change management, keeping senior and highly knowledgeable colleagues in the organization motivated while trying to change their mindset to a stronger customer focus and solution sales. Establishing a strong customer focus is key. In this case, it means bringing an efficient solution to a problem that the customer has. Listening, empathy, and acting as a consultant are all important skills that leaders need to instill in their organizations if they want their business to succeed. This, of course, requires the management to have a more involving, open-minded type of leadership approach where new employees and their initiatives are heard. So, so these are just a few thoughts I wanted to share with you uh, that I hope will help you to better visualize the ongoing impact of technology uh, and the changing world on the building services sector. I would like to thank you for watching and please share your thoughts and comments.